Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Buick GMC video sports update. Two sides to this MJD story that uh, happened down at the Conk House, which by the way is a great place and a lot of people, you know, been there. It's been there forever. I've been there a thousand times. And uh, it's just a, a fabulous place to enjoy yourself. And I guess on reggae night, on Sunday nights, it's, it's kind of a happening and hopping place. And on one hand, the police report says that Maurice Jones Drew was there with uh, several other people. And apparently there was a, uh, reportedly, a Jaguar employee who was asked by one of the bouncers to leave one woman alone there. And when that employee got in a slight altercation with the uh, bouncer there, the security came over, identified themselves as security, tried to uh, separate the bouncer and the Jaguar employee. That's when Maurice Jones Drew got involved, according to the police report, and at some point, allegedly punched the security officer in the head and knocked him out. Now, I heard from uh, some friends who had lunch down there on Tuesday that uh, a woman in the situation, and if you've been down there, you know, there's that, all those catwalks, got knocked into the water. It was such a brawl. Who knows exactly what the truth is, but uh, Maurice Jones Drew says he did nothing wrong, and his agent said, to be clear, made it very important, to be clear that there was a... Um, that he was not involved in any physical or verbal confrontation uh, at the conch house. Uh, we'll obviously see. The police report says one thing. MJD and his agents say something else. Maybe there's some sort of video evidence, uh, but uh, at this point, uh, he has not been charged with a crime. A criminal complaint has been filed against him. The St. Augustine Police Department would like him to come talk to them, and if so, that means he'll have to leave Miami where he's working out and uh, come up there to talk to them and the state's attorney in St. John's County will determine whether or not there's enough evidence to file any sort of criminal charges against Maurice Jones Drew or anybody else involved in that altercation. The Jaguars say they will have no comment based on the fact that it's a continuing legal matter. Interestingly enough, because of this, there was a, a bunch of things that were sent out yesterday. The Jaguars are currently the sixth most uh, law-breaking team, I guess you could say, in the uh, National Football League. They have 27 different arrests, uh, and this does not include what happened with Maurice. 27 different arrests, uh, which gives them the sixth most. The Vikings have the most in the league with 40 at this point. The Rams have the least with eight. Hey, that uh, series between the Heat and the Pacers has uh, now been tied at 2-2. It is so physical, I don't know how the referees are determining how to call a foul. What is and what isn't. They fouled LeBron out of the game on what just looked like the most ticky-tack thing, whether they thought he tried to throw his hip out or whatever. But I'm just saying that, you know, those are the kinds of things that, uh, that you know, when you get your sixth foul and you get out, you let the, the other team really takes off with it. And that's what happened. 99-92 as Indiana ties the series at two. If you're a Heat fan, it doesn't bother you much because you know now that's the third consecutive year that the Heat and the Pacers have been tied at two after four games. San Antonio is just waiting. They beat the Grizzlies in four straight. They'll be waiting for the winner of this coming up in the NBA Finals. Hey, uh, the Jaguars are off for a while, and um, the Sharks are playing at home this Saturday night. You can see that on Channel 4 against the Pittsburgh Power. We'll talk about that as the week goes on. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimnik Buick GMC video sports update.